This is Heyday Tinker Terry, and welcome to my video. I hope everyone uh, in the U.S. is enjoying their 4th of July holiday and are doing something fun and wonderful to celebrate. This is part two of my video. I had actually uh, did another about a half an hour video earlier, and my voice for some reason had just given out. Uh, and it still might be a little scratchy, and I apologize for that. This video is a continuation of the one I started earlier and had to stop, as I said, because uh, of my scratchy voice. And so uh, what it is containing to is that I started a... 50% uh, off booster for six hours and it's 50% off the or 50% more uh, XP that's what I'm trying to say I'm sorry and I tell you I just don't know what's going on with me today but I really wanted to get this video done so I can uh, enjoy a barbecue later with some friends and loved ones and so uh, to kind of recap real quickly is I had gone to the valley and had collected some gas points, but to get those gas points, I need to use uh, duck lifesavers, I call them, duck traps, and also I need to collect soybeans and do boat crates fill them and so that's what I've been trying to do and I'm trying to collect my gas if you watch my last video uh, the one before this one you'll understand what I'm doing a little better but um, so that's what I'm up to now I'm trying to collect for that uh, trying to collect like soybeans duck traps oops see I got to stop now so I can spin. If I continue collecting all the soybeans, I will lose those. I will lose those and they will not count towards the spin I'm doing now. Or the spin I'm doing now, they won't let me continue the excess into the next uh, collecting of gas. So we'll do a gas spin right now and see what we get. Eight. That's not too bad. So I'm collecting a pretty hefty amount there. And I will continue to collect more, so that way I will have more play time and uh, be able to help uh, the 60 people that I have in my neighborhood and uh, the general public, I guess you would uh, call it. And so we'll go back now, because I do have to get on my train, and uh, because that is my last task, and uh, I don't know why I got a warning sign saying that my task was almost up when I just barely started uh, not long ago on it. But let me collect these and get these growing before we go there. And also I wanted to mention, I didn't get a chance to say it during my last video, is that I'm having a contest to name my blue and white female parakeet. And if you can think of a name that you would fit a cute little female blue and white parakeet, please leave in the comment section below a name that you think would be fitting for her. And my male parakeet, uh, I got her as a companion for my male parakeet. And, um, you know, she his name is Sunny. And I believe that, you know, uh, she deserves a cute little fitting name because I've been calling her Birdie. But, you know, it's not a really an appropriate name for her. So let's find her a good name. And as I said, leave a, a name or names that you think would be fitting for her in the comment section below. And at the end of July, uh, I will make a video and let you know the name that I have decided that is best fitting for her and the name of the winner. So, uh, and the best way to find out 
the name and the winner is to subscribe to subscribe to my channel um, and by doing that go to uh, just above the comment section and click subscribe and if you tap the bell notification you will know when my videos are coming out so that way you will be able to see when that video is coming out that will tell what what the name I have decided on and also uh, the winner of the contest and again please uh, leave the name in the comment section below and please like and subscribe to this video if, if you are enjoying what you're seeing and I would appreciate that very much Let me finish this and I will go quickly to my town to, to see what's up with my task I'm not used to getting notifications that my task is about to expire, especially when I hadn't, um, you know, I have, it was for 13 hours, no, it was 17 hours, so I've only, like, three hours have gone by, so I'm not understanding that, but let's go, because I do not want to let a task expire, even if it's, I don't even have any on there, <laughs> oh my gosh trains coming. Yeah, I, since my, I was on my last task, which I still might do a 10th task, but I let all my passengers go, and so I had none, and maybe that wasn't a great task to click on, but I think I can get them fairly fast. I don't like calling for the train early, but I might have to. But I hope it's more just a reminder or maybe a glitch. That is the reason why I'm getting such a, a warning so early. But we'll see. Feed my animals here. Sanctuary animals. Okay, let's see what we have here. Crops? No, thank you. I think I have enough crops. some diners and also this is an event task too so there's probably going to be a lot of people in my hood doing t their trains but I need to get some diners going for my derby task at least get six for now Well, at least I'm glad that if it's not a glitch that a day does send out reminders that's a good help good I got six hopefully I can serve them yes and I'm sure I have plenty of room huh 14 passengers let me go see if I can collect some more to have in waiting from my hood members one, two, three, yes, this is looking good. Four. Mm -hmm. Well, it was looking good. <laughs> so that's enough for another round but we'll still see if we can collect some more so that will only be 12 and I need 16 well maybe not but if I have to I will call in another train um, some of these other things we'll in check break nope what I need but just so I get 10 people 
Let me get some extra things going here. No sense wasting people that I could be serving since I'm so low. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go back to the town. And then we'll wait. Uh, I didn't get checked to see if I had a prize either, but I'll do that later. But yes, we're having the town event for, and that's actually barn and silo tools, so that is great. I need can always use barn and silo. But the event we had recently was for land expansion materials, and I do not have nearly enough permits uh, that I have to actually give away or sell my land expansion items just so they don't take up space in my barn. Okay, these guys will have to wait. So I'll do the other ones. So we can do here. And since I'm not doing this for Derby right now, I will, just, I will not go through the town hall to do it. I'll just do it manually. some of these people going so I can hopefully collect some rewards building or building the rewards for the barn and silo I don't like my town to be this empty I'm not used to it See, I just gave away my speed up. I traded it for a quicker ta uh, Tom time. And wouldn't you know, that's the one, or did I? Uh, it was, no, that one was for certain buildings. This is an hour and 26 minutes. Let me look. Okay, this is train, or this is to, now see that's maintenance. And I don't remember what those buildings were, but yeah, I don't use I don't use a lot of these boosters. I only pretty much use the boat, bless crates, the um, XP extra XP, or the mostly the shorter to Tom times, but sometimes just the free Tom, and also the five and nine hour free Toms, which help when I can't be on a long time but I just need a few things so well we'll just have to come back at least I got got the um, got my di diner task on the way so we'll go back and try to collect some more XP points see what we got going here Again, I want to re remind you about the contest that I have going for to name my little blue and white female parakeet. And please leave your the name or any names that you might have in mind uh, in the comment box below. And I will definitely choose from those names. And I will announce the name of the winner around the end of July and if you put your name or if you subscribe and hit the like but or not like I'm sorry you could do that too <laughs> I would appreciate that but hit and tap the bell notification after you subscribe and you will know when my video is coming out that will announce the name of the bird and the name of the winner. And that would be very much appreciated. Thank you, Wilmot. Get some of these other things going because everything helps. Do one of those. And get some tea items going. I have a lot of tea now, right now at this point, 
because of the three, uh, the extra, oops, the extra crops that I like to plant. Sometimes I like to plant trees randomly close by that I can use for the items I'm making instead of having to go all the way across my yard or farm to get to the bushes that I'm looking for. If I keep some planted nearby, it just it saves you like that. It just saves me from having to go all the way across my farm. Get some things going here. Let's use those. And again, I'm planning a lot of this, not because I need them necessarily, but for the XP. And I'm not going to use the broccoli because <laughs> I'm almost out of it. So I'll wait. I'll wait on that one. And let's see. I forget to collect things like, because I don't make candles often, but I try to keep some in supply and don't put them in my barn so they're there when I need them. Otherwise, if they, it's like if Haiti knows you have them, then they, they ask for things like that in the town. Let's see, we're here. Oh, I just used, ah, I just, wouldn't you know, I just used the last of my butter, but it's okay. Just put in more of these type things. Another one. Alrighty. All right, in my boat, I needed, I could get the rustic bouquets from the paper. I think I have enough eggplant, and I'm making tomato sauce. So that should be okay. I've got those things going. I can't make any jewelry. Like I was saying earlier, I, for some reason, didn't get hardly any platinum at all in my mining task, or haven't found any in the paper. I do like to buy it out of the paper and keep the jewelry coming. But, um, I don't know, let's see, let's see if I can get some platinum going, because I really, and I also need some of those, the flowers that, ha that take the, um, whatever those gray things are, and, uh, I think what they're called right now. So if we can get a few things going that I need. Because I don't I have plenty for, even if I was to get a mining task, I would have plenty. Looks like I'm getting some of the things I need. So let's see. Well, still not much platinum. Look at that, one bar. But iron bar, that's it. Oh, well, I'm going to try to save. Well can't say 15 and well maybe I'll be able to make a couple of those other things uh, this is really messed up huh not getting the things I need a lot of silver Gosh, I want to save that in case I decide to go for more or I find some in the paper oops it's not the one so not gold either. Wow. No, well, I might just go for some more mining right now and just do it. Come on, I need platinum and iron. Doesn't seem like I'm getting it. Getting 
some iron, but well, there was a few platinum, but everything's going to take a lot more than what I'm getting. more. All right, let's see if we get some more platinum. Well, a little bit, but still not great. But it's enough. Well, four. How much of those? All right, um, instead of using those there, those guys are asleep. I guess I didn't pull the thing down. All right, so we need to collect those. That was a good reminder. These are bright bouquets. That's what I was trying to think of. I definitely could use those because I was out. Well, also out of, just about out of uh, the indigo. And watch me not find indigo just because I need it. <laughs> well, I'll collect some rustic bouquets for my boat. Hmm. Everybody's got the same thing I've got. You know, things like soybeans and carrots. Not only uh, for the sun task, but the derby task. So it makes it really difficult to, to try to sell a lot of these things. Especially if you expect to get full price like you usually do on a lot of things. Come on in to go. seeing it. It's been back in the paper a lot, but maybe since there's so many rustic bouquets right now, <coughs> excuse me again, there goes my voice, maybe they're using the indigo and there was some cheap, normally I would buy up things like that and sell it, but they just don't have have the the room. Hmm. If anything needs to be done, and then I'm thinking about visiting in the paper, or not the paper, but in my sh through my shop, visiting some of my friends, and see if they might have some indigo or some goodies. Is that spot empty? If you can't tell. Oh well. Sometimes it's hard when I have other things growing, especially when they get taller after about the second round. All right. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go through here. I can use those, definitely. Those are on sale. I think, didn't I need that for my boat? I can't remember. Whoa, look at this. Gosh, I'm going to take a few of those because I don't know how low I'm getting from using uh, all my spots to grow first carrots and then soybeans. And actually, I had one with um, sugar cane too. So I am probably getting down there on things. Gosh, look at all that cheap. Uh, gosh. A any given normal day, I would be ecstatic. Come on, friends. There's some. I know I could be scrolling over a little bit, but there's so many people. Indigo, indigo. I don't need the pancakes. 
I'll take a little bit of milk, but oh, there it was. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so used to it. Uh, I think that'll do for now, but let's just let's just go a little bit further. I'll take the yeah, there we go. I get a lot of wool from the paper, and that's how I continue to make I mean, hats and things like that, and uh, dresses and chaps. Five, even five helps sometimes when you're down that low. Uh, 20, 20 coin carrots, it's like in my dreams most of the time. Probably have pies, but bacon pies, but I'll, I'll grab them. I can always resell them if I find I have too many of something, but, you see, but I see something in the paper and I'm not sure, then you know, I'll grab it. And if it's too much, like I said, I'll just resell it. I'm not losing anything by buying them because things like that will sell. I know there's probably goodies back hiding in the corner of those, but I just haven't taken the time to go look. And, well, I might as well bring it up again while I'm we're going through this is if you have a name for a cute little blue and white parakeet female who's got um, a little bit of gray on her wings like if you're familiar with parakeets how they have those little gray areas uh, please leave the name in the comment section below and if you then I'll choose a name uh, at around the end of July this month now and I will let you know in a video around that time so please subscribe and hit that bell notification and you'll be informed when I'm putting out that video and you'll be the first to know and I appreciate that very much more there you go and like I said if I end up with too much of something like if I was to end up with too much wool I could always sell it so it's not hurting me to get too much unless my barn is full of course if you have a smaller barn or your barn gets full of course you wouldn't want to buy too much of something but then again you can sell it so yeah, I'll get a couple more of those Probably don't need the cookies, but uh, since I just upgraded my barn, I think it was yesterday, I have some extra room. Uh, I'll get one more in to go, and that should smell great. Butter popcorn. Those are the kind of things that you kind of sometimes feel really lucky to get. You know, I don't often talk about, you know, my health issues. You know, sometimes I think people don't, you know, really want you to talk about that. Or, <coughs> here goes my voice again. Or they think that, you know, you just want attention. So I try not to talk too much about it. But you might hear me occasionally bring up something. But like right now, you know, I'd like to talk about this for a second. I'm diabetic and I have been since that I know of since I was about 16 17 year, years old and you know it's it's been an issue with you know for anyone who's diabetic they know it's a pain to do finger sticks and all of that <clears throat> gosh excuse me I'm so sorry I hope I can get through this but oh no here we go again <coughs> but to do finger sticks it's it's a nightmare we need especially going for years and years well to make it short here I'll try anyway to get through this with my voice is I my doctor ordered me this new device it's called it's only been out a while it's called a Libre system 
and you wear this uh, thing on your arm and you have this like blood glucose machine that you just swipe across it even though it goes through your clothes so I suppose it's like a Bluetooth uh, type device and that has been a godsend to me uh, no more poking my fingers or my arm or anything like that and I can see what my blood sugar is and look at the, all these items blood sugar is at any given time and it's really whoa more fish helped uh, me to know what my blood sugar is because I have a lot of highs and I have a lot of lows and sometimes I don't I sit here all day and collect these things that Fisher's Farm is giving out that's great thank you Fisher and uh, the, but anyway the Libre device that's the name of it if you're diabetic ask your doctor about it it saves you uh, so much time so much finger sticks that you don't have to do I was talking to my daughter about it well, a couple of my daughters and I told them, I said, there's not enough adjectives to describe the joy that I ha have from this machine right now. Uh, like I said, no more poking my fingers, no more having to get out all the equipment, you know, the finger sticks, the, the thing, that, well, the thing that you, you stick your finger with, the, the test strips, and anybody who's diabetic or knows anyone who's diabetic and has been around them enough, they would know this. So I just like to say, if you're diabetic or know someone who is, and you have the ability to ask your doctor to prescribe you a Libre device, I would say go for it. It, it will change your world. I know it's changed mine. But anyway, that's all I'll say about it. But, um, you know, it's, it's just been a blessing for me. So anyway, okay, back to the game. I didn't mean to go on about that for so long, but, you know, if I could help someone else, you know, that's what my intention in the game here is, is to help people, and I just like to help people. So if I bring up health issues and something that I find, uh, you know, that I find interesting and helpful, then, you know, I might bring it to you. So it's not because I like to dwell on my health issues. I don't. But it, it uh, this Libre device, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, gosh, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yes, it's called Libre. And ask your doctor about it or your family member's doctor. And it's great. So let me be quiet here for a minute and see if I can get my voice back. I honestly don't know what's going on. hear my birds in the background. I don't know if you can or not. <laughs> my parakeets. Never have enough chicken feed, that's for sure. Let's pick up everything and anything. And sometimes, like me, I never know what I need until I actually pick up some of the, the other things that I had and didn't know I needed those things. Let me go here and Normally I let them sit, the ducks, but since this is an XP event, I will pick them up, even though those aren't, well, they're almost ready. I'll come back and I'll pick up the lobsters too, because everything is XP points. And then some more traps. See now, the thing is, you know, if you have, if you're, doing derby task, you really can't do this if you're expecting to maybe do, you know, some fishing task. So I just have to try to work around it for now. 
see right now I would be putting down some nets. I would be putting down oops, some of these nets I made, but since it's not helping me with gas points, I can't do that. But oh gosh, it's it's just I guess the valley is just gonna be a learning experience and a workaround experience. I try to figure out how to I'm not good <laughs> at losing my pace on what I'm doing. Uh, it's really, really irritating. I like to do things in a certain way, and I can't, but, you know, I guess that's the only way we learn and grow is by trying different methods. Thank you, Cozy, for the revive. don't need help. Or I don't need help. I, I don't, well, I don't, but it's looking cozy needed cream, and I, I'm making cream, but I need to make some things, so I'm sorry, cozy. Let's see what Mary wants. She wants carrots. I could sell her some, but this is good for uh, people that have to make things like carrots and soybeans and all the other crops for their sun points or their derby task. If you have too much and you can't sell it in your shop and your silo is getting full, you can sell it to these uh, people that are coming to your farm. But for me, since I can hold on to things for a while. I, I won't do it, but it is an option for people that that have their silos full and their shops are full. You can clear up some space this way. So I'm going to tell Mary no. Thank you, Mary, though. And some more cream. So I do need to make some. Otherwise, I would have donated to Cozy. But right now, I'm saving up because I need to make goat cheese, cheeses, and some other things. So I'll need the creams for that. And, uh, see, I haven't been over here. It's like, uh, I forget about this area sometimes, and it aggravates me. My poor kitties. I can't remember the last time I fed them. <laughs> Sorry, kitties. And that's extra uh, points, XP points. Now see, do I want to do this? Do I want to collect these right now? Because, oh, diamonds, that's great. You can always use diamonds. Okay, all right, I have plenty of room because I haven't put anything in the shop yet. Um, let's see, how many? Let's see, well, let me put some carrots on for sale. Then I'll go back and collect some of my blackberries and put them on sale. I don't want to get too low because I'm, have, I'm growing the soybeans right now. But let's go back and collect these blackberries. And I'm getting, and this is actually a good time. I'm glad I did do it because actually it is a good time since I'm collecting all the extra XP with my XP booster. So I'm getting all of those flying extra eight points here, eight points there, eight points there. So it's all adding up. And if I hadn't been thinking and had decided to leave them for later, then I would have been like, oh no, I should have collected those during the XP event or not XP event, I'm sorry, XP booster, the time that I had it. And these are all health revives, which I'm going to let my helper or my hoodies know that I have them. I have plenty of X 
extra device for help task exclamation point <laughs> there we go should probably be enough for a couple a couple help tasks if needed lot of those. I could use another sheep food. Feed. However you want to pronounce it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We got this one here. The salad bar. I could use some more of those. Oh, definitely some more of those. I'll go for these since I'm lowest on those. The, what are those called? I should be saying what I'm not just thinking, but saying what I'm doing. A veggie platter. Real quick in the paper, see if there's anything. Oh, I'll take the sheep feed. I know most of the goodies are usually under the what's on the top, but I'm just not up to going and looking right now. We'll see. Some more bread. That's my old standby. And there's nothing else to make. Make bread. <laughs> I mean, if my hood members, if I can't use it or my hood members can't use it, then I'm sure somebody out there needs it for a boat or they're just out, you know, and they'll buy it up. They'll snap it up. I think I got all those. Just make, 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 whatever you can do. Have any cherries nearby? Yes. And the trees, you know, any trees, anything will help with XP. I know that's how I level up is, you know, I try not to let any XP go by at all. You know, even going to somebody's farm and reviving a one lone tree, you know, one lone tree, it, when you do enough of those and enough of everything else, it adds up. It's like I was saying, I just leveled up, I think it was yesterday, yesterday or the day before. And, you know, I'm not too bad off. Uh, there's been no extra XP events and I'm, I know I've collected some today, but I was still up a little ways, you know, uh, just just because I uh, help help other people and, and do everything that I can and keep going. So I, I believe I do level up faster than a lot of people do, you know, and I'm sure there's some that level up faster than me. But, you know, the, the only way to do that is to keep going and you know, that's a lot of, when I started playing, my mission was to level up as quickly as I could and to get my barn and silo leveled up. And yes, open my um, fishing and land areas, that was a goal too. But especially leveling up and my barn and silo and the achievements the achievements, you know, they, you know, they were kind of important, but, you know, I was just willing to let them come as they came, and I wasn't in any, any real hurry for those, but they, they eventually all just came on their own. It wasn't like I was like, oh yeah, I, you know, I, I got to go for this and get this because I want that achievement. Still like the uh, bingo bonanza, you know, I'm still a long way off on that. I think that's about the only one I have left. The last one I got was the Generous Neighbor, because I was in a hood by myself for a long time. I just kind of wasn't into it for a while for various reasons. And so I, when that came out, I didn't really, you know, go for it. But, you know, I, it's not because I was really going for it. It was 
because I just helped my neighbors and it came eventually. And I don't think there's anything else that's been added that I haven't gotten. So, but as I said, I haven't really worried about it a lot. I very rarely have even went to this section. So, but anyway. Just keep doing one thing after another after another and collect those XP points. And as I said in my other video, sometimes it helps to strategize and pick out the things that some of them that go you can make quickly and others that might give you the most XP. And one way to do that is um, to look under uh, heyday Wikipedia and you can find you know under heyday Wikipedia you can find out a lot of interesting things that will tell you what gives what you know uh, how to catch how to catch fish in what areas and what what whoa look at this gosh I hope it's not let me see if it's not I don't see anyone looking for needing for help task, so I am going to collect all those XPs. Now I lost track of what I was saying. Um, gosh. Oh, Wikipedia. Uh, somebody else helped me, but that's okay. Uh, Wikipedia has a lot of information. It tells you what fish to catch with what lures and in what areas. And I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Tells you what machines cost if you're not aware uh, of what you might have paid for something in the past. You know, there's there's just all kinds of things that that it tells you. I know I'm leaving out a lot of things that I could tell you about it, but I haven't been there in a while. But it does tell you, and that's Heyday Wikipedia it has pretty much all the answers. You know, like regular Wikipedia, but for Heyday. Somebody's looking too. She might end up putting all these trees up, so I'll have to keep checking back. But anyway, I'm trying to think of something else that might be of interest to you. That I might talk about, but with my voice with my voice getting giving out so much today, I I'm afraid to go on too much. I was surprised I got past that one episode there earlier. And again, I apologize for that. So I don't think anything's ready in my town as far as my derby. I mean, it's still 50 minutes. But let me see if any, I can go to somebody and see if they have something in their water that I forgot to collect. Yes. I got a plank. Okay, I'll go back home. And Maggie has left for the week, so we don't have that. Okay, well, you know, I think I just might have to call it a day here. And besides, I do have. Uh, some things to go to for today's 4th of July celebration. I think, is that a, that is like looking weird. Yes, I thought it was, but I kept looking at that and something didn't look right. So I did need a, a bush. So I think I will call this the end of the video. And I do appreciate you watching. And again, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to tap that bell notification if you'd like to know when my next video, my newest video, has been released. And that will definitely help if you'd like to help me name my little blue and white female parakeet. And again, you're welcome to submit as many names as you'd like. One or ten or twenty. I really don't care. I will consider all the names. And I, uh, I have seen so very many cute names.
that I, I know it's going to be very hard to decide, but just know that your name or names will be under consideration. Right now I'm calling her Birdie, and she is uh, a friend, a mate, whatever you would want to call it, to my uh, male parakeet, Sonny, who's, who's yellow with a little bit of green on him. So, yeah, please do, please do. I, I welcome any, any names, any comments, anything you'd like to leave in the comment box. So please like and subscribe and comment your heart away. <laughs> and I, again, I really appreciate everyone watching this video. And I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, whatever it is in your part of the world. I hope you're having a, like I said, great day, night, evening, morning, whatever it is. And, and I thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much. And until next time, this is Hate 18 for Terry saying goodbye. And see you soon.